I can promise you that with the accountability, community, and coaching that you receive in Project 90, you are going to feel empowered enough to drink. Does that mean it's going to be a cakewalk? No, it doesn't. Let's talk about that mental hurdle of, I can't start because I have a vacation. Well, I get it. And as you know, as I just shared, and there are a few mental reframes that I invite you to go through with. People will also often say, I can't not drink because everyone is drinking. I understand. It does appear that way. Uh, the truth is, as we continue through the, the, the drinking cycle, the drinking misuse, our brain becomes wired to believe that, that everybody drinks. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism produced a, an article about the cycle of alcohol addiction and how we become wired to notice alcohol more and more. And so it's not your fault that you think everybody is drinking. But in reality, when you are seated at a pool and you see everyone with a glass in their hand, a cup, uh, you really are not 100% certain of what's in their cup. So during my trip to Maui, I've taken a sunset cruise. It was beautiful. And sometimes those are called booze cruises. And so I was observing people's cups. Most people had some sort of colored drink. Some had a clear drink. And so if I were still in the cycle of drinking, it, I could think that everybody there was drinking an alcoholic drink. Except I don't know that for sure. I was drinking a club soda with a lime in it, which looks exactly like a vodka soda with a lime in it. Uh, a friend that I was with was drinking a club soda with cranberry and lime, which could also look just like a vodka cranberry with lime. Some people had more tropical looking drinks. Maybe they were pina coladas. Maybe they were virgin pina coladas because when I walked by the bar, I did notice a big bottle of pina colada mix and it looked yellow. Um, and I guess they add rum to a pina colada. So I didn't know if there was rum in that cup, but if I were in my former mindset of alcohol use disorder with alcohol use disorder, I would have certainly assumed that it was a an alcoholic pina colada. And so we can't really be sure, right? Now, there are vacations that you may go on where you're with a group of friends and you are certain that everyone is drinking. I also, I understand how that can be challenging. I can promise you that with the accountability community and coaching that you receive in Project 90, you are going to feel empowered enough to drink. Does that mean it's going to be a cakewalk? No, it doesn't. There may be challenging moments because, again, we are wired for these triggers, right? Certain people make us feel like we need a drink. Certain environments make us feel like we want a drink. Those associations are, are, are wired into our brain for now, until now. And you'll have support from other members and from coaches as you go through these empowering, if you can believe it, empowering situations. And so, yes, you may be on a vacation where everyone you're with is drinking. And we understand that. We're here for it. I'd like to pose this question. When you were drinking or are drinking with your close circle of friends, do you appear to be comfortable with your drinking? Are you, are you 
crying as you look at that cocktail, at that glass of wine? Or are you happily taking it and enjoying it? Do you wake up the next day with a hangover and go, oh my gosh, I cannot do this anymore. I am, I'm in hell. I've got to stop. I can't take it anymore. I feel awful. My blood panel isn't looking so good. I can't lose this weight. My relationships are suffering. Or do you wake up and kind of commiserate together, laugh it off and say, whew, I got to cut it, lay off today or whew, time for a Time for some hair of the dog. So here's my question. Can you be certain that everyone around you is happy with their level of drinking? Are you absolutely sure? Or is it possible they're wearing a mask just like you? I will tell you this. We work with people between the ages of, say, 35 up to 60-something. And... Their drinking is making them unhappy to varying extents. To the extent that they're saying, you know what, I've had enough. Some are suffering more than others, but everyone in there comes in and they are unhappy with their alcohol consumption, their relationship with alcohol. It is impacting their lives in a negative way. And so, are you sure? Because most people who are in middle age are not happy that they're drinking excessively. They're not. You aren't. So how do you know your friends are okay? How, how do the people around you look health-wise? Do they look their best? Are they thriving, really thriving? Or is it possible they're wearing a mask? Just things to consider. I don't know you personally, and I don't know your friends. However, I've coached hundreds and hundreds of people during my time here. And more often than not, many people approach our members. I wish I could do what you're doing. 